What's going on guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 16 tutorial. It is Monday. That means a brand new video for you guys. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to create a lyric video. Like you guys have seen in the intro, we're going to recreate that and all kinds of things around that. So if you guys are excited for this tutorial, make sure to smash that like button down below as usual. Subscribe if you're new. All right, guys. So as you can see, we are in Vegas Pro right now. And what I have first up lined up is this nice background that we're going to use as the background obviously so a lyric video is basically a song and then the lyrics of that of that song are just popping up or flying by or anything related to that so what I'm going to do now is first of all drag in the song that we're gonna use it is by no copyright sounds it is called dreams part 2 I'm gonna drag that in okay so this is a song that we're gonna use And then we have some lyrics right here. Alright, so that's what we're going to use. So I'm going to drag that onto the actual, um, as you can see, background. So then what we're going to do is, first of all, we're going to make sure that the background is long enough. So I'm going to just go ahead and copy this. But as you can see, if I play this back, and if I play back the preview, if it's going to start over again, it's going to hop to the first one, as you guys noticed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click on the second clip, and I'm going to hit reverse. So if I play it back, as you can see, it is going to start back in reverse. This is the reverse part. Boom, it goes back. That's how you can fix that and that's how you can make it like an infinite loop. So I'm going to just copy those and I'm going to, I'm not going to do the full song, but just the first verse so you guys know how it works. So then I'm going to just copy and paste this a couple of times so we know that we'll have a background for the entire video. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is I want to keep this video under 15 minutes, but what I want to do is I'm not going to just show you guys only how to, you know, animate the text and everything, but other things as well. For example, that glowing that you saw at the bottom. So I'm going to just go ahead and drag in a glow glow image it is a png so it is transparent so i want to have the glow appear on the notes of the song right here That's what we wanted to recreate. So what we're going to do, first of all, go to the track motion icon of the glow. We're going to make it a lot bigger like that. And then we're going to just position this at the bottom like that. So then we're going to make sure that we will put the X to zero so that it is nice and centered. Then we're going to just crop this down to the length of the notes like that. And then we're going to add in a fade out. As you can see, that looks really nice. You just want to time it. And then you just want to go ahead and copy and paste it and do that on every single note. And then we're going to create a new video track because they're following up each other a little bit faster. And so that's the, basically the whole idea. So I'm, gonna, I'm not going to bore you guys with doing this for like 15 minutes uh, straight for every single note. That is how you do that. And then, as you can see, these three fast notes. So go ahead and make that a little bit shorter and paste it after each other. So that's how you do that. So this is basically what the first couple of seconds will look like. But you have to do that for the entire video. As you can see. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete these. I'm going to focus on the lyrics because this is mainly how to make a lyric video. But if you guys were wondering like how I did that glow at the bottom, that's basically how I done it. We're going to go to the media generator tab and we're going to scroll down until we see titles and text. Now, some fonts Vegas Pro will not catch because they're downloaded externally. So I'm going to pick the legacy text one, then drag on the default onto your timeline. Very simple. And then what we need to do is basically look up the lyrics of this song. Okay, so right here we are on Google Analytics. 
I'm just going to look up the song Lost Sky Dreams Part 2 Lyrics. Okay, so then we can see the first one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the first verse like that. Then I'm going to open up a Word file. And then in Word, I'm going to just paste it. Then I'm going to start off with the first one. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go back to Vegas Pro. And I'm going to place it in. Right here, it says My Heart. So then I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. For example, 50. That's great. And then I'm just going to look up a nice font that will actually suit this video. This is like an NCS song. So we're not going to pick like a metal kind of ish font. So I'm just going to, for example, or scroll down a little bit until I found a nice font that suits this song. For example, this one, then I'm going to hit effects because I want to have a little, little bit of an outline. I'm going to obviously make that outline uh, black and also some shadow right here. So I'm going to check the drop shadow. So this is what it looks like. So it looks really nice. I'm going to also make it uh, just a little bit bigger. I'm going to put that one to 60 like that. And then what we can do is go to the track motion icon on the left of the track of the, of the text. And then we can change the source alpha to 3D source alpha. So we can actually tilt it as you can see like that sideways. So I'm going to just go ahead and do that. So I'm going to just tilt it a little bit like that. And then maybe, for example, a little bit to that. So it has kind of a depth kind of feel. Then what we're going to do is first time it. My heart. Okay, so here is where it starts. So I'm going to play it back. My My heart. And then when she goes to the next sentence, I'm going to just cut that and delete it. So then we're going to animate the first one. So first, I'm going to hit the event pan crop, and I'm going to first make the my heart go come up from the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this icon until it says move in Y only. We're going to drag this guy down until it's out of the screen. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. So when it's out of the screen, you want to just place, for example, your keyframe or a marker right here, and then right click and hit restore so it pops up from the bottom. My heart rages. So then what we can do is make it move, like just make it float. So what you want to do is just go ahead and place a keyframe, for example, right here, and then just go ahead and place this one to move to freely. And then we can just, for example, place it right there, move up a keyframe like that, just position it, for example, now to the other side like this boom and then for the other keyframe in this corner so it goes and it's just floating a little bit so this is what it looks like My heart. but if you want to have it slower you can just place these keyframes further out of each other and then you can also make the movements a little bit less visible for example like that so i'm going to do it like this boom and then for also for the last keyframe like that so this is what it looks like for the first two words My heart rages around like an ocean Okay, so then what we need to do is just copy this layer because we're not going to pick the font again. We're not going to do the outline again, the shadow again. We're just going to copy this. So then control C, control V, and then we're going to place the second lyrics onto the second file. So go back to our word file and then we're going to pick this one like that. Then we're going to copy it, go back to Vegas, and then we're going to just paste it in. Okay, so now we have the second one in. What we're going to do is we're going to make that in two lines. So I'm going to pick, for example, rages around like an ocean in my head. So we're going to pick in my head is going to be below that like that, as you can see. Rages around like an ocean. So then what we can do is we can just position it by going to the event pan crop as well. And we can just change, uh, for example, the, the positions and for example, also remove the going up as you can see, but you can also make that appear from the top by just going to the opposite side like that. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just move these keyframes around again. Uh, just to make it a little bit different than the first one because we don't want to have this exact same movements all over again So this is what it looks like for this second word my, or sentence my heart rages around like an ocean in my head. So that looks really really cool So then what we can do the next thing is actually move up to the next sentence So and then I'm going to pick only one word just because of like a little bit detail So then I'm just gonna copy the second one and then I'm going to make it only because of uh, the word because because like that and we're going to remove the r like this and then we're going to cut it because the next sentence starts right here then go to the event pen crop and you can also make that a little bit bigger and you can just for example also decide to make it appear from the side like this so then i'm going to also change the keyframes that looks really nice so this is what we have in total my heart rages around like an ocean 
And then we have there are, and we can also copy that from a word file, copy and paste this one, there are. So this is what we have. There are. So many things that I left is coming up now like that. Just copy and paste it. So many things that I left. I'm just going to type that in, separate that in two sentences. So I'm going to so many things that I left. I'm going to also make it just a little bit smaller again. For example, 42. There are. So many things that I left unsaid. And then we have unsaid. And what we can do is when we're gonna just insert the last word, for example, the unsaid, we can just make that go up and zoom into the screen real slow. So that would that would be a nice idea. So I'm just gonna type in the word unsaid. Then I'm going to go to the event pan crop of that text file, like you guys know, and then I'm going to press restore and I'm gonna zoom out all the way because it's gonna zoom in all the way in. So now I'm going to delete all the keyframes and then we can just move this guy around just a little bit as well to make it float. And then this is basically what it looks like. Okay guys, so that's how you do it. This is how you animate the text onto a lyric video. So this is basically with the lights included with the little, you know, blue glows at the bottom included. This is basically the end result. And you can also just add in that music visualizer that I just downloaded from YouTube or anything like that. So this is basically the end result. That's it. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for the continued support. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in a brand new how-to video, obviously tomorrow, every single Tuesday. Make sure to drop a like down below if you like this video. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys, obviously, in tomorrow's video.